Welcome to Wheels TV On Demand. We're wild about wheels. Hi, I'm Laura Bird here at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, California. The post-World War II years of the 50s were a wonderful time in America. It was a period of optimism, innocence, and in many ways, discovery. The automobile played a pivotal role in how we lived our lives in the 50s. And for those who were there, there was no better time in history to be an American. Euphoria on a coast-to-coast -coast scale may be the best way to describe the national mood following the end of World War II. Returning servicemen found a tumultuous welcome waiting for them. America was on a collective high. Thanks to low-cost loans made available through the GI Bill, new homes were being built and sold in record numbers. After suspending new car development during the war years, Detroit was gearing up to get back into the new car business. Automakers were bent on capturing America's exuberance in the sleek lines and contours of their new jet age creations. Interstate highways were under construction from coast to coast, and Americans wanted big, wide, chrome-encrusted chariots of excess to radiate this new post-war prosperity. Detroit indulged them with cars that showed as little restraint. General Motors took the lead during this period. Chief designer Harley Earl made the tail fin the defining symbol of the supremacy of the American car. A bright new star, a glowing new star for 1957. New right down to the wheels it rolls on, with its daring departure in design, its longer lower lines. Here's the car that's number one in the USA, the 57 Chevrolet. There's nothing like a Chevy but a Chevy. Here in DeSoto is the exciting new shape of motion. Flight sweep styling, tail fins for highway stability. This is the breathtaking beauty of Flight Sweep 57. Low, long luxurious. Make a date now to see and drive the 1957 DeSoto. It's the most exciting car in the world today. It seemed as if the entire American way of life was geared to the automobile. Somehow, the car figured in almost everything the average American did. This new mobility ushered in the drive-in restaurant, roadside diners, and of course, the drive-in theater. As idyllic as the 50s seem in retrospect, the Korean War, nuclear proliferation, and civil rights awareness were all issues that needed to be addressed. But for most Americans, it was a time for having fun, and General Motors wanted to provide it. The GM Motoramas were hugely successful expos of glitz, where GM would unveil their new car lineups and titillate the attendees. They were lavish productions showcasing future concepts, with all of the color and pageantry of a Broadway opening. At the height of an economic boom period that appeared to have no end, GM rolled out the 1959 Cadillac. With its lofty dorsal fins, bullet-shaped taillights, and endless expanses of shimmering chrome, it represented the new American mindset. If you've got it, flaunt it. The 50s gave way to the 60s and a new American sensibility. The youth movement rejected the moral fabric that preceded it, and the family unit experienced what would later be called the generation gap. An age of innocence was gone. But as long as there are cruise nights and rock and roll, the fabulous 50s will always hold a special place in America's heart. From the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, I'm Laura Bird. Thanks for joining us. Explore your passion for automotive entertainment with Wheels TV, the first television network dedicated to our automotive and motorcycle lifestyles. Get our free newsletter on wheels at wheelstv.net. Like everyone who loves to drive or lives to ride, we're all wild about wheels.